So I start out by cutting open the bottom of the box just to get a few of the pieces that are down there. I then flip it over and cut the fourth side, get the directions out and use that box for all my trash. Just make sure you guys are keeping your pieces pretty close by. Right after I'm done unboxing, I'll show you guys how I have my pieces set up for easy assembly. hardware that comes with the grill. You'll notice the two bolts for the wheels. This is where I do the grill a little bit different than the direction says. This is a step you'll do later on down the grill, but I like to do it at the beginning. That way, once I get the base of the grill set up, I can put the top of the grill on and just hook up the two sides, the side burner and the other side panel. So you're gonna hook up these two pieces, one for each side, you're gonna have those two open holes and that'll make sense when we get to that part soon. This is the drip pan tray. You're gonna need four of the smallest screws, the same screws you were using for the side panels. And you're gonna attach the screws from the top of the drip tray. And this will make sense once you have the drip pan. You'll be able to slide the drip pan in from the back of the grill. I found it easier to hand tighten them and then use the drill to tighten them. It's just personal preference. You can do it however, you know, whatever the easiest way for you is. You're then going to take eight screws, the same ones you just used for the side panels and the drip pan tray, and attach them to the front panels, like so. Don't freak out if one side has a taller leg than the other. That's how it's supposed to go. 
and it'll make sense once you finish this next part. You're then going to take the thicker screws and you're going to put four of them in each of the side legs. You're going to just skip the first hole, put one in the second hole, then skip the third hole and put one in the fourth hole. And that'll all make sense. You're going to do the same for the other side. This is where you need to pay attention to the divots in this brace. That's where the propane tank is going to sit. So when the pieces come in the grill on the top of the leg, it's going to be labeled one, two, three, and four. One and two is going to be on the right side. The ones I'm drilling in right now and three and four are going to be on the left side. The right side top brace will have two pieces sticking up but won't have any chain on it. Then you're going to flip this side over once you have the two braces on there. And it'll take four screws to screw that in. Make sure you're paying attention for this part. Obviously this piece says this side up, so that's the side you're going to place up. It's going to screw into these two holes, top one first, then you're going to screw on the bottom. And then after this you can start working on the left side. So the difference between this side and the other side we just assembled is the divots in the bottom brace and on the top brace there's this chain looking thing that if your igniter stops working you can use that to ignite you know a flame so that's the big difference between the two sides This is also another difference in this side than from the other side. You're going to take this bar, place it in the hole, and then flip it over, and then attach four more B screws. They're going to be the thick, small screws. You're going to attach four of them.
So those four screws we attached earlier, where we skipped the first hole and the third hole, this is why these two bars, you can just set them on like so. And you're just gonna swing them up to attach four more screws, two on each side, like so. You're gonna put these little leg pieces on. I use the end of the tire, you know, just to tap it in. And put those on the left side when the grill is facing down. It'll make sense once you put the wheels on. If you put it on the wrong side, then obviously the wheel is gonna be slanted. Sorry about this part. I didn't get the video that good, but you're gonna take the small washer, put it over the bolt, then you're going to put the bolt through the hole from the inside out. And once you do that, you're going to take the big washer, the thick washer, like this, place it on there. And that's going to be in between the metal leg and the wheel. And then after you put the wheel on, you're going to take the small pin, small cotter pin, and stick it through the hole to lock it into place. This is how it should look, your propane catcher. Make sure these brackets are on the outside because if they're inside, then the top of the grill is not going to fit on top, like so. And then remember that part we did at the beginning of the video where we put those two side panel brackets on? There's a hole in the front and a hole in the back. There will already be screws inside of the grill already there. You're just going to hang it on top of there like that and insert two of the smaller screws that you used at the beginning of the video in each side. And I'll show you right now where those two screws go. It's going to be four screws total that you have to tighten. The two screws that are already inside of the grill that you hang the side panel on. And these two right here. One at the top of the front piece of the panel and one at the bottom. Bottom and top of the front piece of the panel. Then you're going to screw the ones that were already in there. The wire I have in my right hand already comes pre-wired from the grill. You just plug it in the right side of the igniter if you're looking straight at it. The wire that comes with the igniter, you're going to plug into the left side. You're going to take the plastic washer off of it and the cap. Stick it through the back. Put the plastic washer back on like so. Put your triple A battery in and put the cap back on the battery. Put the cap back on the igniter like so. And then I bend this part. If you bend it to where it can poke out like that, it's easier. You gotta take the two screws out and you're gonna bend it back up. Put the screws through this piece and use both screws to tighten it back in.
You're going to take the side panel burner, make sure the front is placed into that piece next to the igniter. You're going to then attach the wing nut and wire that was hooked up to the left side of the igniter into the burner like so. Then there's this piece that you hook in that I guess keeps it stable. I'm not too sure what purpose it serves, but it's in the direction, so we put it together. Then you're gonna take six medium sized screws, the thicker ones, with a washer, three on each side, and this just makes the side panels uh, tighter. You're then ready to put the grates in and the hot rack. And I always include the directions when I assemble. Obviously I'm assembling for a store and not for my own use, but this is how I assemble a four burner charbroil performance grill.